Let's have a look how we can bring in heat animations directly into Unreal Engine thanks to the convenient plugin that's available from the Fab Marketplace. I'll show you how to install it, how it works, and how to apply animations directly onto the UE5 Manny and Heat's own skeleton as well as MetaHumans. I'll show you how to just bring in the animations, but also how to use them on Sequencer. Let's get started. Installation happens through the Epic Launcher. If you go over here and if you've already got the plugin, you can just go and type in under the Fab Library here, you can just type in Heat and then you will find it and install it into the engine. But of course, if that doesn't show up, you're gonna have to go into the Fab Marketplace here thanks to this convenient little tab. You'll go there and then you type in Heat up here, it's a free product, so to say. And the second one, that the third one that comes up is the Heat Beta plugin, which I already own. So if you don't already, just click on that and add it to your library. And then in your Epic Launcher, it'll come up and then you can install it to the engine. Once you've done that, we need to go and enable it in our project. So I've got one conveniently already open here. So you'll head over to Edit and Plugins, and then we're going to search for Heat one more time. And then here it is. Enable that. If it's not enabled already, you have to restart the editor for changes to kick in. And then once you've got it, you can find it over here under the window. At the very bottom, there's the Heat tab. So it opens a bit like the Quixel browser, if you remember that, soon to be retired. And uh, this looks a bit like the standalone bridge here, but it's you know a convenient tab on the inside of Unreal Engine. You have to sign in to your Heat account. If you don't already have one, you can get one for free. And that gets you access to quite a few free animations to test the service. And if you want some more, $5 a month gets you access to everything Heat has to offer with the Mover plan. So quite a good offer, definitely worth a go. And once you have it, you can dock it, you can move it onto your other monitor. I'm just going to go leave it floating because uh, at the bottom here, this is something I need to explain to you. Let's pick the first animation here, Wave Over. That's probably going to be an easy one. You At the bottom here, you can pick the skeleton you want this animation to appear on. So we have the Unreal Engine skeleton T69H is Heat's own man, the, the red guy that looks a little bit like the, like the, basically like this guy. Then you have a meta human, I'll talk about that in a moment. And you also have a user model that you can use. Let's pick the Unreal Engine mannequin. And this here is a drag and drop option. So once you've selected what you need, you can go and left click and drag this directly into the viewport and up comes Manny, namely the Unreal Mannequin skeleton and the animation is brought in and and there we go here he is doing exactly the same thing but the animation is now already retargeted to be used on the ue5 mannequin from where you can retarget it to your custom character or you can just use live retargeting to get animations onto your custom characters by using live retargeting with these skeletons here let's pick uh, something else maybe hyper explaining so once again you just pick it and left click and drag this into the scene and then it takes a moment and seconds later, you've got another animation in here. So they're not just in the viewport here. They're also, of course, in your content browser and are reusable here under heat animations. That's where they are. Hyper explaining and wave over. Now, these are retargeted to this skeleton. So any other UE5 skeleton will also be able to use them. I have a convenient meta human in my project already here, Captain Ellie. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to go back to the heat bridge and maybe I'm gonna go and pick something like a jump animation maybe the spin jump so pick that and then at the bottom here I'm gonna go and pick my meta human now and when I do that you'll see a second option pop on here because this is now gonna allow you to select a specific meta human that you want to use I only have one so only Captain Ellie is gonna appear here but if you had multiple you can pick the one that you'd like this animation to appear on and then once again left click and drag MetaHuman goes in, gets loaded, and animation gets applied on the fly. And there we go. I should really give her back something to wear. <laughs> she only has a front shirt on, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. So that is pretty cool. And then, of course, for the T69H mannequin, that works the same way. So if we go and pick another jump animation, maybe the Mario jump here, pick that, left click and drag, that gets you all these animations in here. So you can feel free to delete any of these people from the viewport if you don't want to see them in here because they're just basically previews for these animations here. I think this is one of the easiest ways to get animations visualized and then bring them into the project that you want to work with. So very cool. If you want to do this with custom characters, there is an explanation on the documentation page here that I'm going to leave a link in the description for. So in 
principle, you're going to bring in your bipedal mesh and then you're going to create a T-pose asset and then you're going to create a blueprint class that is derived from something that heat provide and you then go and map the bones from your character to what heat expects and then you can pick your character directly in the bridge as well. If you want to check that out, there's an article here. I'm going to leave that link in the description. You can explore that yourself. I think I'm going to go and show you next how to apply all these things on Sequencer because right now they're just demos here really. So I'm going to go and delete my heat guy and I'm going to delete my, I'm not actually going to delete Captain Ellie. I'm going to go and create myself a new level sequence and I'm going to call that one SQ heat demo perhaps. And with it, I'm going to go and pick the people that I want to be part of my sequence. So perhaps here are my two Mannies and MetaHuman, and I'll hit Add, and then I'll add that to the sequencer. Now, Unreal Engine is going to go and open up animation mode here automatically because all these three characters have a control rig attached, and Unreal Engine knows about it. I don't really want to use those, so I'm going to go and delete those and not worry about it because that might be a little bit uh, much here. So it's the face and body for the MetaHuman and just the normal control rigs for the Mannies. Go delete, and then I'm going to go back into selection mode, and then I can go and show you how to apply animations on here. So for the two Manny guys here, we're going to go into the animations track and then pick any of the heat animations. So maybe he's going to go do the hyper explaining, and then he stops moving, which is kind of nice, and you can go and move the playhead, and that is how you can time your animations properly. There's also, this is probably a little longer, so let's go move the red marker over here, press home key to expand all that into full view. The other Manny here, he's going to get the other animation, he's going to use the wave over, and he currently starts a little bit later, that's also fine, you can move this animation sequence over to where you want it to be. If you had two guys waving, you can go and stagger them a little bit. And then our MetaHuman is a little bit more complex because we have the body and the face separately, and that is so that you can apply facial animation independently from the body motion. We're interested in the body, that's what we brought in through the bridge. And under animation, I can go and pick something that will work. So I think this one was called Jump. Yeah, there we go, spin jump, there it is. And that now goes and, you know, she jumps as well. And if you wanted to go and play that back multiple times, you can alt, left click and drag an animation, and then it goes and duplicates itself like any other object in the Unreal Engine viewport. Now notice that at the intersection here, currently there's a gap here, so I don't want her to do you know her own thing like she does at the moment. I can go and left click and drag the second clip and go and move that into the first one, and that'll then go and create that smooth transition here, so there's no popping, and you can also go and edit bits out of the animation if you don't want to see certain parts you can go and park your playhead here, right click and head over to edit and then split that section out. And maybe I don't want to see the jump here the second time. Maybe I'm going to go and split that out. There's also a little shortcut for that available, control slash. And then you can go and take this out, move this into that. And then we have a relatively smooth looking animation that, that doesn't jump at the end here if you wanted to do that. So that's sequencer and how you use the heat animations with sequencer. There's only one other thing that I wanted to show you or that I wanted to share with you and I might go and just delete my MetaHuman and one of the Mannies out of here. That's fine. Sequencer is complaining that if we delete actors from the viewport that then of course that's going to have devastating consequences on the stuff that's already on the timeline here. Imagine, so this guy, he just kind of magically came in through the bridge. But imagine I had, which I do have, the third person template as part of my project as well. So Epic provide under characters, mannequins, meshes, we have things like the Quinn and the Manny Simple and the Quinn Simple and all these types of mannequins. So if I go and use uh, Quinn Simple here, from this folder and I wanted to go and track her as well in the sequencer. Go delete that control rig here as well and then try to apply the waving animation on Quinn. I might notice that it doesn't actually show up which is weird because haven't we just brought in this and didn't this just work on the UE5 mannequin? Why isn't it showing up? And there's a reason for that, and this is why I'm bringing it up. The heat plugin brings its own version of the UE5 skeleton. And that is exactly the same as that what you bring in through the third person project. But of course, it's a different, technically a different object. It is exactly the same and it is compatible, but Unreal Engine under the hood sees it as a different thing. And therefore it says, well, this animation isn't really made for that skeleton. So I can't really just show you that that's available.
but we can ask it to do that anyway and uh, here's how we do that let's go and select the mannequin that we know works and have a quick look at where that actually is skeletal mesh asset if you hover over that it'll tell you it's in heat poses mannequins meshes or just click that little content browser icon and then it'll open in the content browser you'll see that it's down here actually this only shows up when under settings you have show engine and plugin content enabled that's my face is in the way there right <laughs> these two things they need to be ticked for the content browser to show you this because this skeleton actually comes with the heat plugin so once we found that you can go and open that guy up put him over here and then we go and select his skeleton here and then his skeleton editor opens up this is now the quinn skeleton but you can see it's being pulled from the heat folder so on the left hand side here under asset details you have this thing that's called compatible skeletons and this is a way for us to teach unreal engine hey that new skeleton that i just brought in is the same as this so feel free to show these animations over on that skeleton and that's exactly what we need to do so we need to go press plus and then go and find where our other skeleton is so i know it's called sk mannequin and i can in fact see multiple here so i've got the one in heat that is not what we want i've got the one here that's in game characters mannequins meshes and i even have another one which is in game characters mannequin ue4 meshes that is also not the one i want i want this one and if you are in doubt find it in the content browser and just make sure you pick it from here and then we go and hit save and at that point this new model whose skeleton i've just told these animations or this skeleton to be compatible with is going to be able to show any of the heat hyper explaining and waving animations so that is how that works look at that now it works beautifully yes compatible skeletons it's something that's relatively new in unreal engine and if you think hey that's really really complicated they should have made that much more simple then that's really an epic thing this is not something that <laughs> that the heat folks are in charge of i just wanted to let you know this is much easier than retargeting though just because you're not ending up with a second set of animations that is all i have for you today i hope you liked it i hope this was helpful if you have any questions then please leave them down below in the comments and we'll try our best to answer it thank you so much for watching and have fun with heat bye bye